And, well, adding and subtracting with radicals is very much like adding terms with x's or variables. Is you have to have the same variable, so you can't add x's and y's. And they have to have the same power. So if it's x squared and you're adding another x, it has to be squared. And again, you can't add x squared and y squared because they're different. So what this means is that in these problems, see how we got the square root of 5? I couldn't add the square root of 10 or the square root of 6, uh, even though the number in front of it, or, or doesn't matter what the number in front of it is. But I have these two square roots, which is fine, just that they're different numbers. So it would be like trying to add the square root of x to the square root of y. So if these are different, not that these, this one is, but if they were different, you wouldn't be able to add them together. Now if we go all the, back, all the way back to the 950 days, not that everyone took it, but this is how we would kind of express this. We're just adding, see, this tells us we got four root fives, and this tells us we got three root fives. So how many root fives do we have? Well, four plus three, which would be seven root fives. So on this one, this one's great because all three of these terms have a square root of 7. So I can essentially, <clears throat> what we're doing is we're going to factor out a square root of 7 from all this stuff. And what, do we, what would we have left? Well, from this first term, we would have a 6. From the second term, we would have an 80. And from the third term, we would have a 15. And all the operations are going to stay the same on this. So here I've got 6 plus 80 minus 15, <clears throat> which would be uh, 71. Mm -hmm. So in other words, I would have 71 root 7s, which means I would have 71 times the square root of 7. You don't have to show the dot there. Um... Yeah, that's a good point. So yeah, if we could, if we could simplify the square root of seven, we wouldn't multiply that to the seventy-one. But uh, that's as far as we can go on this one. You guys get how this is related to the x's, right? Like if you had six x's plus eighty x's minus fifteen x's, I mean, everyone can do that. That's simplifying uh, an expression like that. It's the same. It did work the same way with those square roots.